you will very seldomly go to an early screening of a movie right now where probably you don't notice it unless you're paying attention. Someone's not in the front of that auditorium with infrared binoculars looking for somebody with a camcorder. And once a movie's released, copy or copies do begin to leak, the studios hire people like Randy Saft to hack the hackers. What we're just trying to do is make the actual pirate content difficult to find. And the way we do that is by, you know, serving up fake files. It's called spoofing. Saf and his employees spend their days on Kazaa and Grokster, offering up thousands of files that look like copies of new movies, but aren't. So if I had clicked on any number of those Finding Nemo offerings, I could have clicked on one of yours, and, or somebody like you. And what would I have found after my hour and a half of downloading? It might just be a blank screen or something. You know, typically speaking, what we push out is just not the real content. What you're trying to do is make this so impossible, so un infuriating, that people would just throw up their hands and say, it's just easier for me to go rent this thing, buy the DVD or whatever. It's just easier. Right. That's your goal. Right. Does that work? Is that no. a good idea? No, it doesn't work. I mean, I don't blame them, but it doesn't work because what happens is that the community cleanses itself of the spoofs. He means that downloaders quickly spread the word online about how to tell the fake movie files from the real thing. It's like an arms race, isn't it? That's exactly what it's like. It's like an arms race. There will be, you know, they're going to get a step ahead. We're going to try and get a st that step back. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll, <laughs> I'll bet <laughs> on the hackers. That they'll break whatever the, studios the companies come up with. throw at yeah. them. Hollywood knows that downloading off the internet is the way millions of consumers want to get their entertainment. And that isn't going away. The generally accepted estimates is that more than 60 million Americans have downloaded file sharing software onto their computer. 60 million? At 60 million Americans, that's a mainstream product. That's not a bunch of college kids or, you know, a bunch of computer geeks. That's America. So instead of trying to stop it entirely, the studios are looking for ways to embrace it, but get paid, too. Wayne Rosso says the best way is to negotiate some kind of licensing deal with him. If the movie industry acts now and starts exploring al alternatives and solutions with guys like me, hopefully they won't have a problem. What if they tried to buy you? I'd sell in a heartbeat. You would sell, Grokster would sell to a movie studio. Sure, call me. The idea of making deals with what Peter Chernin calls a bunch of crooks doesn't appeal to Hollywood. Instead, Fox and the other studios have just launched their own site, Movie Link, where consumers can download a film for a modest fee, between three and five dollars. I think you would love the idea that you don't have to go to the video store, you can do this. Mm -hmm. And right. that's what we're working on, but in order for that to be effective, we have to stop piracy because the most effective business model in the world can't compete with free. Not that Peter Chernin's interested, but he won't have the chance to buy Grokster, at least not from Wayne Rosso. A few days ago, Rosso announced that he's leaving Grokster to take over as president of another file swapping software company, this one based in Spain. Grokster will continue under new management.